Good morning, everyone. Here, uh, this is Claire in Alaska, and I would like to welcome you to the course CRIM CRIM uh, three three eight five, which is criminal law. Okay. Before we go through the course syllabus, actually, I would like you to I would like to make some announcements on class protocols. Okay, so this course will be assessed based on several things, three exams and uh, five discussion assignments. The class schedule of class, uh, classes and assignments of the syllabus will let you know the de deadline for each exams and discussion assignment. The exams are generally available to view and take at least two days before the deadline. Similarly, the discussions will be available for you to take in Blackboard at least uh, a week before the deadline. Okay. Now, please check Blackboard regularly. Okay. Just in case I post an extra credit qui quiz or an extra credit assignment and you know it's, that it's, it's there. Um, for the three exams, all exams will be posted online in the Blackboard folder, exams and quizzes. That, as I mentioned, the discussion assignments are posted in discussion boards folder. The exams will basically be multiple choice and short essay format okay so you have to answer these exams within the deadline for guidance on how to answer the discussion assignments which i will grade using a rubric you have to check the files labeled sample or model answers to criminal law cases and so i uploaded several files on blackboard that will show you how to answer the case scenarios in the discussion assignments when discussing, discussing the case scenarios, please summarize the issues, the applicable law, the elements of the applicable law, and your detailed analysis of how um, of how um, the facts fit the applicable elements of the law. Now, all PowerPoint slides are in the folder course content. Please, please read the syllabus. Before you ask me any questions, check if the answer is already on, on the syllabus. Some important notes and reminders for this class. Attendance in class in person is not mandatory. I will not check attendance in class, okay? So you have the option to access the class synchronously through WebEx, WebEx link, which I will provide. I, I think I, I posted announcement already on how you can um, access it. You also you can also look at the syllabus and the class announcements and you'll see the link there. You will be able to view the class through clicking on that link. Additionally, I will record the WebEx proceeding and upload it after class on Blackboard. So you will be able to view and review the lecture at your own leisure. If you are experiencing any COVID-19 symptoms, please don't attend this class or any of your classes. Report your cl symptoms through the COVID reporting portal link. I highly recommend also and strongly request that you use a mask if you are attending in-person classes. I am immunocompromised, live with my elderly mom who is susceptible to virus. Please be considerate of our situation and um, everyone in the university situation. So like faculty, staff, and your other co-students, please consider it, be considerate of them. And do not go anywhere near the university if you are feeling unwell due to COVID-19 symptoms. If you're positive or if you, or if you test positive for COVID-19 in any of the COVID-19 um, testing, don't come to campus even if you're asymptomatic. As I mentioned, attendance is not mandatory. I'll not check your attendance in classroom. However, for reporting purposes to the register, please answer the check-in questions on Blackboard. That's enough to verify your enrollment presence in the class. Okay, And this check-in question is due September 19, after which it's not available. If you fail to answer the quiz, I'll mark you absent for this class, and you may receive an email from the university about your intent and desire to continue with this class. Please answer the quiz, the check-in questions. Now, if you have any questions after class, if you know if this is a hybrid or face-to-face -face class, please don't go near me or approach me. Remain in your, seated in your class and remain seated after class and raise your hands to ask a question. Okay, and I will answer from from where I am proper social distancing. Alternatively, please email me your questions and I will s respond thoroughly by mail. I will not be holding any office hours in my physical office. All office hours are will be through WebEx. So email me, you can email me to schedule an appointment and I will send you a WebEx link. 
you'll find the WebEx link in the announcements, you know, announcements and class protocols, or alternatively on the class syllabus, and I'll also post an announcement, okay? Now, going to the syllabus, let us look at it. Okay. So, the book for this class is Dowling's book, which is Texas Criminal Law Principles and Practice. The ISBN is on the syllabus. You also need to get any current version of the Texas Penal Code, okay? So, basically, what does this class do? This course will anal analyze substantive criminal law, and it includes an overview of the law, definition of crime, general principles of criminal responsibility, elements of major crimes, punishment, and conditions or circumstances that may excuse from criminal responsibility or mitigate punishment. So we'll, since we live in Texas, we're going to look at the penal laws of the state of Texas. So I want you to read through the course objectives and the course requirements and grading components. There will be three exams on Blackboard and then discussion assignments. The discussion assignments will involve analyzing hypothetical cases or current news events that involve potential criminal liabilities. Okay. Um, it is 20% of your final class grade. So you have to take this seriously. You have to answer all of them, answer two questions, and respond to your classmates. Mm -hmm. Look at the document title, Sample Model Answers to Criminal Law Cases, Part 1 and Part 2, that I uploaded on Blackboard. You have to be able to answer the same format and style as the sample answers. I will be using a rubric, okay, to grade your answers. Here's the um, course components. First assessment is 25%. Second assessment is 25%. Final assessment is 25%. Discussion assignments are 25%. So I take it back. Discussion assignments are 25%. Okay, look at the equivalent points to get the required grade, okay? Attendance policy, read the communications policy, okay? And then we need to look at the schedule of, us, of assignments, okay? So we'll follow the schedule carefully, okay? So look through the schedule, okay? To be able to know what the deadline for each assignment is. Now, COVID-19 syllabus addendum, I also want you to go through it. It's very important that you read it, okay, so that you know what to do in case you get a positive test of um, COVID. Okay. Anyway, thank you again. My name is Claire, Dr. Claire Broughton, Dr. Claire Nolasco Broughton. Please feel free to email me, okay, on the, using this email, claire.nolasco at tamusa.edu. And thank you all for enrolling in my class. And I hope you all enjoy the semester. Have a good semester, everyone.